Hello guys, Brad here again with another fragrance review. This one is again from the house of Anique Dutal. It's called Nuit Itule, which translates to Starry Night. It's a woody aromatic. And the notes we have in the top, citron, orange, and mint. Middle notes of pine tree and fir. And in the base, Immortel, Angelica, and Tonka Bean. Now once again, Sebastian, man loves cologne, hooked me up with this little decan here, and uh, I'm going to wear it to work today um, when I go in this morning at 10.30, um, and I've finished off the rest of the uh, decan as well, so uh, let me go ahead and give you my thoughts on this one. So, uh, this is a unisex fragrance, um, the vibe here is supposed to be walking through um, a forest at night stars, moonlight, and things like that. I'm not really sure if, if that's really the overall effect here. What I really get here is uh, a lemon-mint combination. It's a bit sweet. Uh, maybe that's from the Tonka bean. I'm not sure. You know, kind of a sweet lemon-mint blend. Uh, you can kind of uh, pick up on florals in there. I think it does kind of lean more towards the feminine spectrum. Uh, the fir and the pine tree, it's kind of subtle here. Not not a very woodsy fragrance in my opinion. Very light in the woods department. Sort of a light floral woodsy backdrop here. I do think the, the sweet mint and um, the lemon kind of um, take over this fragrance pretty much. kind of has like a candy-like smell to my nose. Um, almost like if you put... Uh, some uh, lemon lifesavers and some Tic Tacs in your mouth. <laughs> that kind of a that kind of a feel, I think. Anyway, some people say they get like a bit of a toasted or roasted effect here, which is probably from the Immortel, which I think does sometimes have a burning feel to it. So uh, it does kind of have almost like a roasted marshmallow kind of a smell, in my opinion. Which would go right in with a starry night. Imagine going through the forest and, you know, maybe a couple miles away, somebody was toasting some marshmallows. It's got a very faint whiff of that. Not a real overpowering effect, but there is maybe a touch of a toasted effect there. Um, if I had to make a comparison, I would say that this would be a good feminine counterpart to uh, Hermesson's Vetiver Tonka. Because that one also has sort of a, a slightly toasted feel to it. But this one, definitely more feminine, uh, brighter because it does have a lot of lemon and mint in there. It's pleasant, uh, maybe, a, maybe a little bit more on the uh, feminine unisex spectrum than I prefer. But I can certainly uh, enjoy this one. Probably wouldn't buy it, but it's okay. Uh, but let's get into some, to some scores here. The smell, I'll give it 6 out of 10. It's a pleasant smell. I would probably like it better on a woman. Uh, but, you know, it's okay. Projection longevity, never really an overpowering fragrance, but it does seem to linger for a while. So I'll say 7.5 out of 10. Uniqueness, it's quite different, I think, uh, which is kind of uh, a nice thing to have in a fragrance. So I'll say uh, uniqueness, 8.5 out of 10. Uh, the way the fur and the, the pine kind of combine with the mint and the lemon and the floral is kind of a little different there. Versatility, uh, maybe 6 out of 10. Probably best for spring. Uh, a little bit different than your normal spring fragrance, but a nice uh, change-up fragrance for the spring, I would say. So, yeah, 6 out of 10 for versatility. Uh, price points, um, 100 ml bottles. Probably going to start at around $80. So, you know, for a 100 ml bottle, that's not a bad price. So probably about 7 out of 10 for price, I suppose. Overall, I give this about 5.5 out of 10. Uh, a little bit on the feminine side, but uh, a pleasant blend of lemon, mint, and like a sweet, slightly uh, toasted um, pine marshmallow kind of a smell. So uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll talk to you guys later.